Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a slight review on the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Also, I am doing a review on the new um, setting spray 2 and the scent Starberry. I am not going to do a talk through this. It's going to be a voiceover, guys, because my husband was in a meeting and I couldn't talk because it was in the same room. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you're interested to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Also, if you haven't already, please go like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, y'all. So already looking at the palette. I cannot use six of these colors, but six out of 32 colors is not bad. So right here, I'm just showing you guys the products. Packaging is just Jeffree Star, you know. So now I'm using my P. Louise base shade number two, which I absolutely love for my eyeshadows. Now that I know how to work the primer, it makes like all of my eyeshadows look like bomb. Right now I'm just blending it out. Tried to show you guys the brush number, but whatever. I think it was like Morphe in four, five, six brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Boss Angels. Or is that Angelus? Boss Angelus. And I'm gonna put that in my crease number. And if you guys want to know all of the brushes that I use, I will put them in the description box down below. I did have to build my color. Um, I feel like the formula was pretty off, but not too off. I was still able to get the pigmentation from the colors, but just by building them. So now I'm taking Chanel and I am just blending out the edges just to soften around it. If that makes sense, y'all, I'm just thinking like, damn, did that make sense? So that's what I'm doing right there. So now I am going to take Dog Mom. One thing I do regret is not adding some more P. Louise to like cancel out some of that Boss Angeles that I put. So you can see the color more vibrant, but it still worked. But I just know next time to use a little bit of concealer so Dog Mom could, could have shown a little bit better. And that brush that I'm using is a Morphe M152 brush. So now I'm going to take one no noise <laughs> and I'm just going to put that as like a second color just because um, I was pretty much going for like a night and day type look. So um, I thought about using that dark orange like it'll give it kind of like that smoky type look. I mean, it worked. Whatever I was trying to achieve, it worked. So now I am using High Dude and I am just smoking out my eyeshadow. And I'm just starting in the outer corners and I'm going to work my way up into my crease. Y'all, this is really simple. Anyone can do it. <clears throat> I will do like a more, you know, complex look soon if you guys want to see that. So just give me a thumbs up. Now I'm using my matte liquid liner by NYX. And I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm not doing a wing liner. Just one straight line. So overall, the palette wasn't that bad. I still feel like I need to play with it a little bit. Um, 
I would say that it is black girl friendly. What I don't like is that we can't use six of the eyeshadows in the palette, but I guess that's okay. And with me, I like to use just one palette. I hate to go like back and forth with different palettes, but that's all right. So right here, I'm using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I am slowly falling in love with. Um, I like how it's easy for me to take off my foundation after, um, you know, a long day is like really easy. So now I'm using my Anastasia um, Luminous Foundation in the shade 500C, which is also new, but I also am starting to fall in love with. Like now that's all that I picked up. It started with like just a simple review, but I actually like it, so... Yeah. <clears throat> so now I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, my cupid spell, my chin, nose, and forehead. <clears throat> and I'm just blending it out with my real technique. Um, sponge now I'm going to set my concealer with my Ben Nye banana powder and I'm just setting all of the places that I put concealer <clears throat> at I'm sorry y'all my voice is really really dry I just woke up So now I'm using my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Espresso, which is almost gone. So I'm going to have to buy another one. The set is cheaper than just buying them individually. So individually, they're like $25. And if you buy it as a set, which I really don't need all of it, it's $55. I'm like, what the crap? <laughs> But I don't know, I might lean towards another um, Anastasia contour, well, foundation stick. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so now I'm using my Morphe um, Brontour in the shade Showmance. And I'm just setting, well, right now I am contouring my nose, but I'm also going to set my contour too. And y'all, I know my contour looks a little bit off, but I will fix it. I just um, edited it out in the video. So now I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade um, MW50 and I'm just setting my foundation. And I'm not touching the parts that I put concealer on, just my foundation parts, y'all. And contour too. So now I'm going back into the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and I am going to use all of the shades that I put in my crease. I'm going to put those under my eyes.
and now I'm just putting two in my inner corner which actually made like the whole look pop and I fell in love with that so now I'm just using some mascara this is a drugstore mascara and now I'm going to use this setting spray my setting spray I don't know if it exploded when it came or what but it had like some type of greasy film on it which I did not like I may take it back and get a new one because I feel like that the product probably didn't you know hold its potential since some of it came out or whatever but um, one mistake I made right here is if you're using a loose um, highlighter powder it is best for you to set after that because once your face is wet and you try to use that loose powder it's just stuck right there so it's only good when you're using like a a powder form highlighter to set and then use it so um, right here I really had to fix it because it literally once I put it on my face it got stuck right there so yeah Yeah, so you see how it got stuck on my forehead. I did panic a little bit, but I knew what to do. I'm just going to use my foundation brush that I had, and I'm just going to blend out. Well, it's going to cancel out some of that highlighter. So, yeah, guys, that was about it. Um, for the palette, I will say that it is something that you can work with. And the setting spray, I can't really tell you too much about it because mine came pretty much damaged, I'll say. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.